first here at six for the first time, we are hearing from the lawyer of a Springboro man whose home is now an EPA cleanup site. He says he wants the public to know he is sorry that he did not want this situation to escalate to this point. Maytal Levy spoke with the homeowner's attorney in a story you'll see only on two. Crews will be on site at the Jackamar Court home for several more weeks, cleaning up potentially dangerous chemicals found earlier this month. The homeowner is a dentist. His attorney tells me he's just a man with a hobby. Forklifts and cleanup crews can be seen on Jackamar Court in Springboro. The aftermath of a home destroyed by a fire. It's what was found inside the home that has raised concerns for neighbors and brought out the Environmental Protection Agency. It's very unusual to see the EPA come in and uh, declare a homestead to be a super fun site. A sentiment echoed by the EPA on scene coordinator I spoke with. He told me acids, solvents, and mercury were found inside the house. Chemicals the homeowner's lawyer believes were used for hobbies. He's a man of many interests. His interests include dentistry, chemistry, uh, electronics, and uh, he, he did not have anything in his, uh, in his home that, that was of any significant quantity. Today, EPA crews and a contracted company are clearing the scene. That's why the homeowner hired an attorney. His insurance isn't paying for the cleanup. We're disappointed that his insurance company did not uh, pay for the cleanup, and we will continue to pursue that uh, remedy so that the taxpayers don't have to foot the bill on this. It's estimated the cleanup process will cost $100,000. As for the cause of the fire, it's still under investigation. So that's why we want to stay uh, and continue to monitor the situation and make sure the investigation is being done properly. He's sincerely apologetic to his neighbors, his friends, these people that he's lived with uh, in this neighborhood for over 25 years. He never expected that anything like this could happen. The homeowner isn't being charged with anything. I asked the EPA spokesperson if the neighborhood was in any danger. He told me they're not, but air monitoring is being conducted. We will stay on top of this story for you. Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.